This video is on finding the area between two curves. The question is find the area between the graphs of f of x equal x cubed minus x squared and g of x equals 2x. So our strategy is going to be to first graph it. And I'm going to use a graphing calculator. Um, you could also do this by hand if you need to. And when I graph it, g of x equals 2x, that was the line. And f of x equals x cubed minus x squared, that's this cubic curve that looks like that. So now one of the things I want to do is I see that there's three points of intersection here, here, and here. And I have a good guess of where they might be, but let's find them algebraically. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the two equations equal to each other. So I have x cubed minus x squared equals 2x and I want to solve for x. So I subtract 2x on both sides. And then I factor out the x. And I have an x squared minus x minus 2. I can factor that further. And that gives me x equals negative 1, x equals 0, or x equals 2. And we can see on the graph that looks about right. So now since I have two regions here, this left region and this right region. The left region, notice the top curve is a cubic and the bottom curve is a line. And the right region, the top curve is a line and the bottom curve is a cubic. I'm going to need to use two different integrals to find the total area. So what I do is I add up the two integrals. The first integral is going to go from negative 1 to 0. And the top curve is a cubic, x cubed minus x squared. The bottom curve is a line, 2x. So I integrate the difference between the top curve and the bottom curve. For the right-hand side region, the top curve is now the line, and the bottom curve is a cubic. So now I'm going to integrate from 0 to 2 of the top curve minus the bottom curve. And when I do that, um, I can use a calculator on this or do this by hand. When I work that out, this first integral is 5 twelfths and the second integral is 8 thirds. I add them up and I get 37 twelfths for the total area of the region that's bounded by these two curves. And I'm finished with the problem.